Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to continue with pad t-test example sums. Already I have posted a video on pad t-test example sum. If you have not watched that video, I will be giving the video link in description box, suggested end card as well as i cards. This video will be most useful for MSc nursing students because at MSc nursing level, definitely they will be asking calculations. Either they will be asking t-test, regression equation, coefficient of correlation or chi-square test or ANOVA or man whitney test like that and all. So this video will be very helpful for MSc nursing students as well as BSc nursing students. And also for thesis purpose or dissertation purpose, uh, when you are going to use pad t-test, this calculation basics is going to help you a lot in doing your calculation. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's see the question. This question was taken from Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University, Chennai. For MSc nursing, they have given in one question paper this question. VLCD treatment was administered to each of the 12 patients and the results are given below for pre-test and post-test. Can we conclude that the treatment would be in general be accompanied by a weight loss? So, they have given the table value 2.201 at 5% level of significance. 5% or 0 0.05 both are same. LOS means level of significance. Why they are giving? This is a university question paper I have told. So, they will be giving you a reference T value that is table T value. So, if you are going to do on your own for thesis purpose or in home, you have to refer the table value by using the books or in Google images also you can search table t value so here they will be giving the statement like this but you have to understand what application you have to use so here what is the clue you are having it is for the same sample pre-test post-test for the same sample before intervention after intervention so same sample pre-test post-test means if you want to compare the results means what test you have to use yes you have to use pad t test so there are so many tests you have to identify which test so you have identified t test and again in t test you have unpad t test and pad t test so you should know what t test you have to apply for this data so pre-test values and post-test values pre-test values can be considered as x and post-test values can be considered as y so pre-test 180 170 176 139 182 146 175 163 160 155 146 and 169 post-test values 106 140 126 139 172 150 120 140 132 120 148 and 137 so first step is you have to test the hypothesis okay so for testing the hypothesis what is the first step you have to formulate the hypothesis so h0 is null hypothesis h1 is alternative hypothesis or it is otherwise called as research hypothesis so h0 is there is no significant difference in reduction of weight due to vlcd treatment between pre-test and post-test H1, there is a significant difference in reduction of weight due to VLCD treatment between pre-test and post-test. So, this is your hypothesis. You have to formulate the hypothesis. Then what? You have to copy all the pre-test values in the X column and all the post-test values in the Y column. So, X column comprises of all the pre-test values. As it is in order, you have to write it. Similarly, the corresponding Y values also. As it is in order, you have to right then what you have to do you have to find out the difference the difference between the pre-test and post-test so x minus y you have to find out so d is nothing but the difference between x and y so 180 minus 106 180 minus 106 is 74 next 170 minus 140 is 30 then 176 minus 126 is 50. Then 139 minus 139 is 0. Then 182 minus 172 is 10. Then 146 minus 150 is minus 4. 175 minus 120 is 55. 163 minus 140 is 
twenty three. One sixty minus one thirty two is twenty eight. One fifty five minus twenty is thirty five. One forty six minus one forty eight is minus two. Then one sixty nine minus the one thirty seven is thirty two. So you have calculated the difference d. D is nothing but x minus y values. Then you have to all the d values. That is seventy four plus thirty plus fifty plus zero plus ten minus four plus fifty five plus twenty three. Plus twenty eight plus thirty five minus two plus thirty two. When you are adding all, you will be getting sigma d. When you are adding all the things, you will be getting what sigma d, which is equal to three thirty one. So with the sigma d, you have to found out d bar. What is the formula for d bar? Yes, it is sigma d divided by n. Or summation of d divided by n. So what is n? N is twelve. So how you know in the question itself they have given n is twelve. If they have not given in the question also, no problem. See here you can check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. So twelve values they have given. So which indicates that n is twelve. But here they have given in the question itself twelve persons they have given. So n is twelve. Sigma d how much three thirty one. So three thirty one divided by twelve, which is equal to d bar is equal to twenty seven point five eight. The next step, what you have to do is you have to minus each d value with twenty seven point five eight. So seventy four minus twenty seven. Point five eight is forty six point four two. Thirty minus twenty seven point five eight is two point four two. Fifty minus twenty seven point five eight is twenty two point four two. Zero minus twenty seven point five eight is minus twenty seven point five eight. Ten minus twenty seven point five eight is minus seventeen point five eight. Minus four minus twenty seven point five eight is minus thirty one point five eight. Fifty five minus twenty seven point five eight is twenty seven point four two. Twenty three minus twenty seven point five eight is minus four point five eight. Twenty eight minus twenty seven point five eight is zero point four two. Thirty five minus twenty seven point five eight is seven point four two. Minus two minus twenty seven point five eight is minus twenty nine point five eight. Thirty two minus twenty seven point five eight is four point four two. So now you have done all these things. Then what you have to do? Yes, you have to find out d minus d bar whole square. So forty six point four two into forty six point four two is equal to two one five four point eight one. Two point four two into two point four two is five point eight six. Twenty two point four two into twenty two point four two is five not two point six six minus twenty seven point five eight into minus twenty seven point five eight minus into minus becomes plus seven sixty point six six minus seventeen point five eight into minus seventeen point five eight is equal to three not nine point zero six. Minus thirty one point five eight into minus thirty one point five eight is nine ninety seven point three zero. Twenty seven point four two into twenty seven point four two is seven fifty one point eight six. Minus four point five eight into minus four point five eight is twenty point nine eight. Minus zero point four two into my sorry. Plus zero point four two into plus zero point four two is equal to zero point one eight. Seven point four two into seven point four two is fifty five point zero six. Minus twenty nine point five eight into minus twenty nine point five eight is eight seventy four point nine eight. Four point four two into four point four two is nineteen point five four. So next to what you have to do, you have to add all these things so that what you will get. Sigma d minus d bar 
whole square. So when you are adding all these things, you will be getting sigma d minus d bar whole square. So what is the value of sigma d minus d bar whole square? Yes, it is 6452.95 6452.95 is your sigma d minus d bar whole square then what you have to find out yes you have to find out the standard deviation okay what is the formula for calculating standard deviation yes the formula for calculating standard deviation is square root of sigma d minus d bar whole square divided by n minus 1. So here we are finding out the standard deviation for the difference. So the formula is square root of sigma d minus d bar whole square divided by n minus 1. Why you are taking n in n minus 1 instead of n? Because it is a small sample. The sample size is only 12. If it is 30 or more than 30, you have to root down n. So n minus 1, n is how much? Yes, n is 12. 12 minus 1, how much? 11. So put uh, sigma d minus d bar whole square values, how much ma? Yes, 6452.95. So put it in the numerator divided by 12 minus 1, how much? 11. So 6492.5 divided by 11 is 590.22. 7. So you have to take square root of using the calculator take square root of 590.227. So the answer is 24.295. So your answer is what 24.295. So you have found out the standard deviation. Next to what you have to find? Yes, you have to find out T. What is the pad T test formula for calculated value? T is equal to D bar divided by standard deviation of difference divided by N square root of N. Okay, so T is or you can write in this way as I have told T is equal to D bar divided by standard deviation of difference into square root of n in this way also you can write okay so now substitute the values t is equal to what is d bar yes already we have found out d bar is 27.58 divided by what is standard deviation standard deviation is 24.295 Next, then you have to multiply with square root of n. What is the value of n? Yes, 12. So, take the square root of 12. Okay, using the calculator, if you are going to take the square root of 12, you will be getting 3.464. Okay, then what you have to do? Multiply 27.58 into 3.464. Then divide it by 24.295. So, what you have to do? You have to uh, multiply it. So, when you are multiplying, the numerator will become 95.537. That is 27.58 into 3.464 is 95.537. When you are dividing this 95.537 divided by 24.295, you will be getting the answer 3.932. So, this is your T calculated value. So, what is this? This is your T calculated value. So, T calculated value is what? 3.932. Then, what you have to do? See, think that you, uh, uh, T value is not given. You are doing it for your thesis purpose. Means, you have to find out the degree of freedom. So, when you are finding out the degree of freedom, N minus 1, 12 minus 1 is equal to 11 okay so in the t table value at uh, uh, degree of freedom 11 you can you can find out you can find out the, the value is 2.201 but in exam point of view already they have given so how you have to find this t value and all i have posted in this part one video i have showed clearly how you have to include everything so based on that you can 
uh, C at uh, 11 degrees of freedom in the value of 5% level of significance you can calculate this uh, T table value. So T calculated value is 3.94 okay that is a 3.932 3 point just I have rounded it off 932 okay so T table value is 2.201 so the t calculated value is less than or more than yes it is greater than it is more than that t, t table value so what we have to do we have to reject the null hypothesis and we have to accept the alternate or research hypothesis so we can conclude that the vlcd treatment will be in general will be accompanied by weight loss so it's effective this treatment is effective so that weight loss can be uh, seen okay so Hope this video is clear for you all. If you still have any doubts, please feel free to post your doubts in comment section. If you want a detailed explanation, you can watch our uh, channel playlist for more videos also. So in my part 1 video, I have explained how you have to found out degree of freedom and table T value, how you have to compare that also I have given clearly so that you can watch that video also for calculating the um, how to calculate the T table value. Hope this video is clear for you all. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and like card. Or you can watch our channel playlist for more videos. Thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.